you need them this weekend with these hot temperatures, Wes. Yep, we haven't had a lot of rain to cool us off. Mm -hmm. um, even the mountains are really warm. So yeah, going to the ocean and getting in the water is uh, one of the best ways to cool off. So I said it a few times this week, but today was again the hottest yeah. day of the year so far in the triangle, 97. And actually, the National Weather Service adjusted the high yesterday, very late in the day to 97. So two days in a row, we've had and tied the hottest day of the year, two days in a row at 97. Last Friday, the Sand Hills were 99, their current hottest day so far. Good news is no 100s yet. And even better news, it gets a little bit cooler tomorrow. And I do mean a little. I don't know if you're going to walk outside and say, oh, it's cooler. But just know that it is going to be a little bit cooler. And we need it because it is still cooking out there. 96 still in Raleigh, 95 still in Durham, 96 down in Lee County, mid-90s all across the Sand Hills. Couple spots have some rain-cooled air, but everyone still has the humidity so the feels like numbers are still well above 100 degrees 108 in Clinton and Fayetteville that's the hottest I've seen so far this year again we've got some relief coming in the form of a cold front and better rain chances lower temperatures maybe some lower humidity all coming this weekend outside right now there are some showers cooling us off they're not severe that potential is still there but they are dumping some heavy rain and bringing lots of lightning to eastern parts of Wilson County. Goldsboro, you guys are getting it in Wayne County, and that line kind of moves back into parts of Johnston County, and everything today is moving off to the east. And as we head into tonight, I'm going to keep those isolated storms around for the next couple of hours. We'll have a lull in the middle of the evening, and then there's still a chance we could see a few storms sliding in from the west around midnight. Then we'll dry out, and your weekend starts off like most of this work week has with temperatures in the mid 70s. And speaking of this work week, if you think about it, I mean, we didn't have a 100 degree day or anything like that, but we've had 96, 97, 97, 95. I mean, this has been our hottest week of the year so far, but there are changes coming. It involves this area of high pressure scooching away a little, allowing this cold front to move in. And it's not the cold front that's going to sweep through and drastically do anything to us, but it will enhance rain chances, lower temperatures a bit, and we'll take it. So here's what the rain's going to look like tomorrow. Again, like all week long, the morning time is dry. Nothing to worry about there. I'd get your chores done, your errands run outside then. After lunchtime, the daytime heating, the humidity still going to be there, and the instability of that front coming through. And you can see it spreads a little more shower and thunderstorm activity throughout the entire area. And then we get into the evening. We'll take a break from the storms, but we're going to do it again on Sunday, kind of in a different way. So Sunday, again, the morning time is dry. We get into the afternoon. You'll see a few showers and storms, but more so to our south because that's where the cold front's going to settle. Now, with the storms tomorrow, most of our area under a marginal risk of severe weather, keeping an eye out for damaging wind with the storms between 3 and 10. Remember, marginal is our lowest threat level on our 1 to 5 scale, but it's a threat nonetheless. So make sure you're weather aware, not only with the temperatures, because they're still going to be hot, but also our best chance of storms this week. We've got it up to 50%. Remember, most of this week, it's been 20 and 30%. So that's the highest we've had all week. Temperatures still hot, still above normal, still dangerous, but a little cooler than today. Top out at 95 in Fayetteville, 92 in Durham, 93 in Raleigh. So after a high of 97 today, the front comes with a better rain chance and 93 tomorrow. Then we've actually lowered this temperature and lowered the rain chances a bit Sunday. I like that. Not only is the pick day of the weekend a high of 88, morning temperature of 72, but the entire seven day forecast because that's as cool as it gets. Monday, we head back to work and school with a little better chance of rain, 40%. But temperatures back up to 90 and then we'll stay in the low 90s most of next week until we go into the mid 90s by a week from today. So 